Blessings, chosen ones. I pray everyone is having an awesome day. I pray your day is filled with much joy, love, and peace. And you are not letting no one detour you from your peace today. I want to talk to you all today about they are not supposed to know who you are. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? They are not supposed to know who you are. Meaning that chosen ones, you are chosen. So you don't have to go around trying to describe yourself to no one. You don't have to go around trying to look for someone to know who you are and what God has called you to do in Jesus name. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Latoya T. Wolford. I am an author, a life coach, and a speaker. And I pray that this word blesses you all in Jesus name. I pray that it fills you up with so much clarity. I pray that it fills you up with so much wisdom and discernment in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Okay, you all, I want to get into this word. Now, God has called us all to do some things because we are the chosen ones. So God has called us. And sometimes people just don't understand what we are doing and who we are. And I just come on here to let you all know that it does not matter who you are. As long as God know who you are in Jesus name, I want to give you all a scripture. This is in Psalm 31 verses 20. And it says, you hide them in the secret place of your presence from the conspiracies. You keep them secretly in a shelter from the strife of tongues. Yes, this is in Psalms 31 verses 20. What I want to say about this scripture is God is hiding you. God is hiding you. I know people may think that you are weird. Some people may think that you don't know what you're talking about. Some people don't understand your calling. Some people don't understand why you changed, why you act the way you act, why you are not the same person you was last year, the year before that, five years ago. It does not matter. They don't understand. And I just want you to know it is not meant for them to understand. God has you hidden for a reason. You are hidden for a reason. The Holy Spirit just popped Esther in my head, in Jesus' name. Yes, Esther was hitting. It was for a reason, but you know what? Esther came out with so much wisdom. She was stronger than ever. She saved her family. She saved her nation, in Jesus' name. She saved them. She was obedient to God's word, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. I have another scripture for you all. This is in Psalm 119 verses 114. I love this one, you all. You are my hiding place and my shield. I wait for your word. So we don't have to go about telling nobody about what God has called you to and what God has told you to do, what business God has told you to start. When it is time for anyone to know what God is doing in your life, God will give you the word to do so. Until then, don't say nothing to nobody. Don't worry about what people say. You know what you are doing. You know you are walking in your true calling, in Jesus' name. You know God has called you to greater and better things, in the name of Jesus. Chosen ones, I'm telling you all now, trying to prove yourself to someone and trying to make some someone like you, it ain't gonna do nothing but stress you out, in Jesus' name. Here's the definition of conspiracy, I'm in just in case someone don't know it. A secret plan for a group to do something unlawful or harmful. So God has you here hidden for a reason. He has you in the secret place for a reason. When you come out in the opening and people know what you are doing in your life and people know how God is progressing your life, they try to plan evil things against you. They try to plan things to hurt you and to harm you. So God don't want that to happen. So God has you in secret. God don't want you opening your mouth just yet. So keep your mouth closed and let God work in you. Let him work in you and let your light shine because they will see it. But don't go around.